Hi guys, now for all you vintage electronic people, a real quick video here of a vintage Zenith solid state chassis. This came, amp this is an amplifier chassis, came out of a Zenith tabletop uh, stereophonic uh, record player that a guy brought over to me to get it working for him. Um, he had it working, I mean it, it worked and then it quit working and what happened was his power transformer had failed. Well he had another transformer that come out of another Zenith stereo console um, and the only problem was the transformer, this one had a couple extra wires on it and he got the wires messed up so uh, he had the B plus mixed up with the cabinet lights. These two wires are for your cabinet lights which one would have been up by the record player and one would have been on the cabinet itself or even inside the cabinet so you can and then it also runs the uh, it would have had a radio in it too so the, the your uh, radio dial would have been lit up so this run the lights he had these wires down where these wires go uh, by mistake and these are about 35 volts and these are 6 volts so that was the mistake he made and it's easy to make a mistake like that if you don't have a diagram um, so this transformer will work it's just you know he had the wrong wire so I'm just going to tuck these away and cap them off we don't need them so I'll give you a quick overview here so yeah I found out that's what happened he replaced the transformer and said it was still dead couldn't get it to come on so uh, he brought it to me and that's what I found out um, he had the wires in the wrong spot so he was trying to run it on a low voltage and that's not going to work First thing I did before I found the transformer problem, though, was check the main filter capacitor. If any capacitors go to a dead short, they can burn up a transformer, So, and it can also ruin other components in the unit. So just thought I would show you real quick. Uh, it works good now. I put a, a AC cord on it because the switch is on the turntable, so I couldn't turn it on and off. So he had a, there's a power strip. There's a little strip inside the cabinet of the record player that has the fuses and stuff go to it. So these wires would go to that. So, But since I don't have the whole record player, here I just hooked it up to a, a cord so I could plug it in and test it and um, I'll show you real quick here we'll try to keep my videos pretty short uh, plug this up and show you here how you can test these things um, this here is your wire for your turntable so we got a left side and a right side so I should have a buzzing sound from the speaker when I touch it on the right and on the left I got a couple small speakers hooked up so there you go guys yep so it works so, yep, I just thought I would show that real quick. I had to work on that today. So then I got another project here for another video. I got a, this is another chassis out of a Zenith console stereo. The FM's dead, so we'll have to figure that out and see what's going on with that. So, all right, guys, more videos to come. Thanks for watching, guys.